Thank you. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure and honor to be here. I will not uh, outline my, uh, how I think about the future technology will shape the, the future warfare, but I will uh, have chosen to demonstrate it to you by videos. And uh, we go by one by one, one. Talking about the past, in the past, we have the market need or the operational need, and we, want to, and we went to development the technology to cope with this. Today, of course, the technology invent or expose much of the market need or the operational needs. We have, there are, we are many, many examples. And the automation and robotic is not just on the ground and not just in the air. There are many other uh, things that are automated. I will try to give you some, some examples. This is a weapon, weapon, air to ground weapon, autonomous weapon developed in Israel, of course. Uh, uh, the pilot is just a driver. He shoots the weapon, and the weapon is fully automated. No, not using GPS. GPS in war is not existing, it's jammed. Have a special eyes and a very smart brain in the weapon. Match the way to the target, but matching what you see on the floor, on the ground. Hills, roads, everything matched to uh, a satellite photo from satellite. Hit the target exactly, pinpoint better than GPS. This is one example, it's fully automated, fully uh, unmanned uh, and robust and very accurate uh, uh, weapon. We see the hit and we go to the... You see if the, the target is camouflage, the, the, the missile uh, uh, doesn't care. Uh, because they match the way to the target as I'm going home to my home. See, there you go. So this is the one. The other things, of course, we're going to robotics, autonomous system. We, I've started even with urban mapping. Now we see some mapping. It's from the eyes of the robot, underground robot. This is going under, in underground tunnels, can be anywhere, and map the tunnel by lasers. All of these dots, 3D dots, is the map that, uh, that uh, a robot can see and send him back, of course, before the forces can go inside. The same going in the higher level, how we conduct, we are almost in there, conduct the war. This is Gaza in 3D, three dimensional of Gaza. We can see our forces and the enemy forces. We can see where our UAV, our drone is looking at, and we can see the video of the UAV. We have here two UAV, we can see the car of the terrorist. So the commander control can control, even if it's in the territory, or out of the territory in 3D, the, the, the battle is already, of course, integrated in the digital army, the digital army. Now we go to the robotics, ground robotics. On the air robotics, I won't talk. As uh, Ronen said, we have, in Israel, we are leading the world in the air robotics, UAV, or drones, from very small UAV, like this, for medium UAV, to the huge UAV that you, you have mentioned, so I won't go through it. It's in the internet, in the YouTube. And uh, I go for ground robotics. In ground robotics, we have several classes. First, to support the urban fighting, but we talk support the urban fighting. We have small robots. Uh, this is robot can, can climb stairs, go into the room, take pictures and video, send the video back to the fighting forces, so they will know if someone wait, waiting for them in the room for ambush or IED or explosive, to get, they can prepare to go to conquer the building. And this is the snake, the famous snake. It's a snake that crawl uh, uh, like a real snake, but have a camera inside, can go in a very small places, take picture, and the forces can prepare. And then we go to a bigger, bigger robot or bigger, uh, it's called UGV, un unmanned ground vehicle, okay? This is the vehicle that is uh, uh, patrolling along Gaza border, real patrol along Gaza border, instead of soldiers. Send the picture back, of course, a few kilometers away. He's fully autonomous, you know, his own way, stopping suspicious point. In the future, of course, they will put weapon on him uh, so someone can, can do all the job. And the going to the naval area, the naval also becoming uh, very hot in this uh, unmanned vehicle. It's called USV, unmanned surface vehicle. This is the unmanned ship, small ship, equipped with uh, all the needed, of course, even with speaker, with day, night, vision system, cameras, and with gun. You see a gun. So it's unmanned, can approach a suspicious ship uh, with terrorists, with bombs uh, on board. Uh, warn them, if, if, if the sh enemy ship doesn't stop, you can fight and take the ship down, whether to protect the, oil, the gas field uh, in Israel or our shore or our ship. Now we go to Iron Dome. I think it's a good example of a system of system of 
almost 100% autonomous system. I will go to this uh, uh, system. The system itself uh, is uh, comprised of many, many technology inside, from micro, nano, to uh, radar, electronics, uh, computers, cyber warfare, everything is inside integrated, the top of the line. Even we take uh, algorithm from genetic algorithm in order to optimize the system to protect the system, to protect the city. The system in principle, you draw and on the screen what you want to protect. Okay, I want to protect Beersheba, I want to protect Tel Aviv and surrounding. We draw it on the screen, place the system, and the system have an eyes, artificial eyes that scan the skies, detect the incoming rockets, de decide for itself what Iron Dome missile from what battery will take them down, shoot them down, and, the, and, the, and the, of course the missile is fully autonomous. This is more or less how it's work, including, including the capability of, of determine which missiles, which rockets will fall on the sea. So no interception will be done on missiles that are not dangerous uh, the life of uh, civilian or soldiers. So at the speed, uh, why we need to do it automatically? Because the speed we are playing is very, very high. You see it's from running, it's 10 meters per second, number one in the world. Rocket is uh, 700 meters per second, is around uh, uh, 2,500 kilometers per hour. And we are, we, Aaron is also coming in very fast speed. So it's, the game is around 5,000, 7,000 kilometers per hour. So no human being can cope with this, uh, with this uh, 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 speeds. Now I will show you uh, movies, most of them from the YouTube, because people, instead of going to the shelter, have to gain some confidence in Iron Dome, take their smartphone and picture, which is not advisable, but this is a... You see here the shoot, this is Ashkelon, the battery near, near the houses. Iron Dome have been shot because rocket is coming. He decides, Iron Dome, the missile itself have onboard sensors, eyes, and very smart computer. He decides to go back to Israel, to go down to the city, okay? And then, vast maneuver in order to, uh, to uh, hit the target. Why, do, why did it? We don't tell him what to do from the ground. He do it by its own, his own brain, because he knows he has to protect a city, not a point, not a military camp. He has to destroy, also had to destroy the, the threat in the air, destroy. Not hit to deviate it, or it will hit, hurt uh, Ben Yehuda Street, instead of Dizengo Street in Tel Aviv, he has to Explode it in the air. So we do what he want to, uh, what he have to do to achieve it. On decision, fully robotics. Then I will show you. Uh, we put some camera aside. You can picture what is going on. Show this. Uh, all the dots. These are three rockets coming. Around them knows immediately that the mid one, this one, in the middle one is going to is not going to hit the city. It's going to the sea, or open field. So we launch only two automatically two. Iron Dome, the first one goes to his friend, everything is okay. The second one knows he should not hit this because he's going to the sea, so he bypass it and hit the right one. All in real time, in the air, of course, you cannot control it from the ground, it's too fast. Now we'll show you the uh, two last movies. We'll skip some of them because of, uh, of uh, uh, time. Uh, maybe I'll show only one. Uh, I think maybe the best movie in YouTube I will explain uh, is the best, by the way, even including the IDF spokesman. I'm, I'm lending you a minute to show both of them. Both of them? Okay. So I'll skip the... Uh, we, I, I will show you even uh, uh, three movies very fast, half a second, uh, half a minute each one. One is they launch 15 missiles at the same time, 15 missiles at the same time. Is of course, from smartphone. You can hear the people speaking, and all the dots are on them, all the dots. I don't know if you can see it, but it's around here. You will see the explosions, and then you will see cloud of Iron Dome coming from here. Here. 15 Iron Dome in order to cope. I brought it because the speaking of the... <laughs> This cannot be released from IDS spokesman, you know, there's no, there's a limit. But in, in another one, in another area, in Tel Aviv State, okay, we call it Tel Aviv State, 24 of 7 city, pubs, bar, parties, they're not used to have alarm. This is the second missile, so you see they're on the beach, uh, playing volleyball. They are not exactly trained as a sovereign uh, citizen, so walking, running, some to the shelters, some to the parking. 
some decide to go to the have decided to go to the uh, show in a minute to the to hide near a wall there's a rental bike project of Tel Aviv the green one so they hide there <laughs> and why why I brought this movie not because of the anthropological uh, issue because the, the one who took it managed to took also the, the, the interception you will see it around here in a few seconds here so this is, and now we're going to, I think, the best one. There was, we call it Iron Dome Wedding, because there was a wedding in, uh, in Beersheba, and uh, they shot 15 okay. missiles at the same time, and people continue to party. You can see the smoke of the grill, and suddenly the, the fireworks began. They shoot incoming rocket, 15 rockets, and the Iron Dome respond immediately by shooting 15 Iron Dome from various places in order to stop the attack. You can hear the music. Here, the first Iron Dome, second, you see for the other direction, and you see the explosion in a second. Each one is going to his own friend. Uh, a swarm of Iron Dome is sent again, because there are another 10 or 12 to the shot, to various direction. And the missile is fully autonomous, each one of them. It's, it's, like, a, it's like a science fiction. Okay, it's better than that. Thank you very much.